at the time of Tesla's last battery day in September last year, two announcements caught people's attention. The biggest fuss was made about the hint that Tesla would have a $25,000 car in just a few years' time, but the more immediate news was the announcement of a new cell type called the 4680, due in volume in 2021. This cell is more than twice the diameter of the 2170 type currently used in most Tesla cars, and 10 mm longer. Musk claimed it would offer Tesla cars 16% more range, deliver 6 times the power, and cost 14% less per kilowatt hour. However, the new technology has been having problems. At the battery day in September 2020, Musk claimed that by September 2021 Tesla would hit around 10 gigawatt hours capacity producing the new cells. However, in 2020 the production yield was a paltry 20%. That is not so surprising, because this is not just a switch to a larger cell with the same technology. The new cell is tabless, it is meant to involve dry electrode production that drastically reduces the number of stages in manufacturing, as well as using different materials for the anodes and cathodes. The meteor batteries will also become part of the car's structure, allowing Tesla to remove chassis elements used purely to provide a stiff casing for the cells, saving car weight and maximizing the space available. All of these developments would eventually allow Tesla to reduce battery costs by 56% per kilowatt hour, which would have a considerable impact on car pricing at the budget end of the market and enable vehicles with much longer range for current premium prices. When Elon Musk cancelled the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, he argued that the Plaid was fast enough. However, another theory is that, because the Plaid Plus promised 520 miles of range, this necessitated the 4,680 cells being available in quantity, which they just aren't yet. The arrival of the Cybertruck and Semi are apparently being delayed to 2022 by the slow ramping up of 4,680 cell production, too, and the Tesla Model Y cars from Tesla's factories in Berlin and Texas will continue to use the 2,170 cells for the time being. They were supposed to be switching to the 4,680. In April, Musk said that reliable 4,680 volume was 12 to 18 months away, which would push this close to 2023. However, at Battery Day 2020, Musk was promising 100 gigawatt hours of production by 2022, which was clearly beyond optimistic.